guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books, and today we are going to be filing our 2023 T4s with the CRA using our QuickBooks Online account. So all you need to do is to sign in to your QuickBooks Online account and your CRA account, and then once you do that, scroll on over to Payroll, payroll tax and it should take you to this page if you went to the payments make sure you click filings when you are in the filings page you will see this here again you can see there's a warning here be sure to select dental benefits code for each employee and that is because this is the first year we actually have this in our t4 so this will be in box 45 of your T4. So make sure that you do that before you file the T4s. And if you don't know how to do that in QuickBooks, I will have a video linked down below on how you can do that in your QuickBooks online account. Now that we're here, and you've obviously put in the dental benefits code for each employee, all you need to do is in this box that says T4 employer slips and you can see it says file. We are going to download the XML file. So just hit download. Once you've downloaded it, that is a file we will be uploading to the CRA. So we've downloaded the XML file and now we are about to upload it to the CRA. So all you need to do is go to the payroll account over here. Okay. And then you can see there are details here in the payroll account. All you need to do is to hit file a return. Once you do that, it will take you to this page. And what we want to do is to click Internet File Transfer. This is the XML file that we downloaded in QuickBooks. And once you click that, it will ask you for the XML file, which you just downloaded. So click Choose File and then choose the XML file that you just downloaded. So I just attach the file and then I will click I certify that the attach return is complete and accurate. Once you hit submit, that's it. You will not have a preview of whatever you uploaded in the XML file before it's finalized and submitted to the CRA. That's why I said make sure you do review the preview before you file this okay i'm not doing it now because i reviewed it a while ago so on your end make sure you review the preview of the t4 employer slips to verify that everything is accurate before you submit it to the cra and then since i viewed it already and i know that it's accurate i will now hit submit after you hit submit, you should have a confirmation of receipt like this. And then make sure that you print this page or take a screenshot so that you have a copy of the um, receipt of the CRA just in case something goes wrong and they say, oh, we didn't receive your transmission of the T4 slip, so we think you filed it late, etc. Always make sure that you save a copy of this page so that the CRA can't go back to you and say that you didn't submit it on time. So we've just finished filing a copy of the T4 slips with the CRA, but we are not done yet. We need to make sure that we send a copy of the T4 slips to our employees. So here we'll click send and then we'll click record filing. And then it says next steps complete the filing. So we will just click this and then we will hit submit. So you see how it says two out of two employees receive their T4 slip copies on workforce. So your employees will be able to see the copy of their T4 slips when they sign into QuickBooks workforce. And if 
if your employees or you don't know how to log into QuickBooks Workforce, I get this question a lot. I will link the login um, link down below where you can log into QuickBooks Workforce so it's easy for you guys as well. And that is it. We're done. We've filed the T4s with the CRA and we've also sent a copy of the T4s to our employees. And that's it. See, no more action, nothing we need to do um, in QuickBooks in terms of T4 filings, which is great. So that's it. I hope this video was helpful with you filing your 2023 T4s for your employees using QuickBooks Online. Hey guys, it's Ariel here from Fix My Books. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and helping my YouTube channel grow. If there are any videos you want to see on my channel, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. I always listen to your feedback. And once again, this is Ariel from Fix My Books, helping you fix your books.